the blueprint. An absolute must-see. Now, first of all, I want to welcome you all to what? Michigan. That's what recruits want for Christmas. We on the list again. So stay tuned. Keep your eyes glued. Make sure you listen in. John Reeves is doing this thing. The blueprint gets it in. Or, you know, however, you know, whatever you want to call it. But, uh, you know, me, I think me and Jay, you and Darbo were talking on the sideline there, and I was telling them, I, th I think on Darbo's touchdown and post route, they double teamed me. I was like, look, if they double team me, that means they got one on one with you guys. If they want to double team you guys, they got one on one with some of us. So, you know, we, we know we just got to go out and make plays. When, when there's one person on us, we can't get covered, and I don't think we can go down the line. Wilton's good at recognizing that quickly. Some guys yeah. take longer than yeah. others. Yeah. He's been playing quarterback for a while now, and, uh, you know, based on the way they play their defense, you know, you know, Will you know watched enough film and was able to identify it quickly and make a pay for it. Yeah, I know you're just asking, but you know, Wilton is the second start so far this year. I mean, what do you like about the way he's progressed? Uh, plus, obviously, you're on the receiver and about yeah. you know half dozen there. Yeah, he uh, he just takes leadership and ownership of this offense, and uh, just the way he's prepared throughout the week. I, I know I keep saying it, but preparation is the key to confidence and the you know the key to success. So um, all those big throws he made today, they were they were repped you know probably eight or ten times throughout the week, um, and you know it was no mystery to us when he was out there making plays that you know it's not not something new to us. It's something that uh, we're confident we believe in. Honestly, I think our game plan was more to run, but that's what that's what's so great about our coaches. They were loading the box. They wanted to really stop the run, and uh, you know our coaches didn't want to just try to sub a, a square block through a circle hole. You know we're going to try to adjust, and because of the way they were playing so aggressive, we heard them in our play action game, and you know down the line the run opened up a little bit more because of that. When Jim when Jim first got here, the first spring he's had with him, did you think Wilton was going to going to make it? Uh, you know, Wilton has been my friend, so I've been, always had the talent. It's, it's just something that had to happen from within him, where he, he had to take charge of this offense and this team. And uh, I think as the camp went on, he was playing well. The coaches you know, started to believe in him. Everyone started to kind of believe in him a little bit more and more every single day. So I think from that, he kind of grew as a person. And, you know, just from the way he prepared, the way he performed throughout the camp, he just built this confidence that you know, flows throughout our whole entire team. As you kind of come getting your leads on this team, your captain, are there things that are said? You know, as, I mean, you guys had such a big lead and then start to, you know, they start to get some plays on you. I mean, do you go off to the defense or you kind of ask for territory? How do you guys cross I mean, uh, you, know, as, you know, as a leader and stuff, and you know, a lot of these guys are my friends and my brothers, so I think they hit that long run out there and I jog down the field. I let them know, you know, it's cool. It's cool. We're going to be fine. There's going to be another drive. They're going to get a stop. We're going to get the ball back. We're going to score. We always believe that uh, you know we're going to win. And uh, even though you're going to get punched in the face, that's football. Just how are you going to respond? Are you going to punch back harder? Are you going to lay down? And uh, you know, uh, for how many times we got punched in the face, we punch back just, just as hard, if not harder. To go and then get separation too. I think uh, as a receiver, if you get separation, it helps um, the QB's job easier um, on where to put the ball. What do you think the chemistry is at? I think uh, it's pretty good right now, and I think uh, um, as we enter Big Ten season, it's going to have to get better. But I think uh, throughout practice, throughout the season, we will get better. Also. It seems to be better. Uh, yeah, and then I mean, even if the young receivers come in too, I think he uh, he will uh, put the ball up there. I think he trusts um, the guys out in the perimeter, perimeter and get the tight ends and everything. So. What uh, I mean, the, the passing game seemed to be so consistent today. Every time you needed to throw downfield yeah, for a long or whatever, it seemed to be there. Where can you still get better with that? Um, I would say I know uh, today a couple. Of, for me, I had one on the curl, the third down. I felt like I should have found the ball a little quicker, and then it was also a stop that I, um, I feel like I need to push a little bit more and get separation um, on the comebacks and uh, on the underneath that. So I think that's for me personally. But 
uh, I think uh, we still we did a pretty good job. Um, hard to say right now. Probably gonna have, won't know till I, after I watch film. Yeah. Okay, you announced it on Twitter. And then I announced it on, I announced it on Twitter, but then, you know, I was afraid that people were going to take it the wrong way. And, you know, oh, he's replacing Taco. And, and you know, I, I talked to Taco, but and people were like, started tweeting that. But yeah, it feels great. It, it really does. I'm not going to lie and say that that was perfect out there because, you know, nobody was. But I felt like I left it all out there. And, and you know, this one, for me, I, I talked about it on my Instagram. This one, A, was for my family. You know, they always believe in me. Uh, the, the second thing is, you know, everybody that told me, you know, I want to do this or that or making excuses for me feeling too little my whole life. And just to go out there, you know, and have that opportunity just to go out there. Like, I mean, people can't take that away from me. You're getting pretty emotional. I mean, this is... There's not a lot of things that, you know, really tug on my heartstrings, but that's one of them. So it was a long, it's been a long... It's been a long journey. We played, you know, not, not having a position the last two years and just battling the scout team every day. You can ask Chris Wong, you can ask Chris Wong, you I don't think anybody's ever blocked them as hard as I have. So, I had a lot to prove to my, myself and, and I still have a lot to prove. Do you feel like you resonate with the coach? Be sure to tune into The Blueprint every week with Michigan Man Ray for the latest with Michigan football. Subscribe to his channel and stay connected. It's The Blueprint. An absolute must-see.